We have to show the effect of an increase in income on the market for goods and services. Now, before we turn to the diagram, when do we have to show the effect? I find it easier to work out myself what will the effect be, in this case, of an increase in income on my demand for goods and services. Yes, if my income increased, the demand for normal goodwill increase. Now, what I've worked out for myself, I must apply now on the diagram. Now, to save ourselves a bit of time, I've drawn in the axis. We have to draw the market for goods and services now of our product. Uh, let's name the axis, price and quantity, and we have our demand curve and our supply curve. And we'll see the market is in equilibrium. Price of 4, quantity is 3. This is my starting point. Given this situation, now we find there's an increase in income. An increase in income, said an increase in income will lead to an increase in demand. And the increase in demand can be shown by a rightward shift of the demand curve. So we find demand curve shifting to the right. Is this still equilibrium? No. Fine, we've moved to a new equilibrium. Price of 5 and a quantity of 3,600. So, started off with equilibrium. There was an increase in income. It's shown by the right with sh shift of the demand curve. And that increase in income led to a new equilibrium, the price of five. Three steps. Initial equilibrium. Secondly, shift in the demand curve. Something happened to disturb the equilibrium. And thirdly, the new equilibrium.